In the last tutorial, I showed you how to use colored finder tags to label your files. This time, I'll show you how to use the finder tags to automatically organize your footage as you import it into Final Cut Pro. My name's Bruce, and if we've met before, welcome back. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and press the bell so that I can make more videos like this for you. You most likely already know about the automatic organization of files as you import folders into Final Cut Pro. It's not so obvious when you use Finder tags, but first, let's see what happens when you nominate folders as the way to import files into Final Cut. I've created a new library. I'm going to import some footage using the folders selection in the import window. Select import. In the right hand column, make sure keywords from folders is ticked. I'll select my camera footage. Here are the three cameras in the camera folder. Select the camera folder and import. And you'll see the keywords for those three cameras have been created for you in the browser sidebar. And you can make organization even simpler by using finder tags and have the benefit of them being organized in the finder as well. Now to avoid confusion, I'll close this library. Let's look at these same camera files directly from the disk. I've got three tags already set up in the finder preferences. And I showed you how to do that in the last tutorial. Click the link above to see that tutorial. You can see the footage from the three cameras, gimbal, Panasonic and upstairs camera. If you use tags of the finder, these would already be labeled. I'll show you why you'd use tags of the finder in a minute. Select all the gimbal files, right click and add the gimbal tag. Select all the Panasonic files and add the Cam1 tag. Select the upstairs camera files and add the Cam2 tag. Back in Final Cut, I've got another empty library. But this time, I'll import with the Find a Tag selection ticked. And the three keywords have automatically been created for you. So why would you use tags in the first place? Well, have a look at the sidebar in your Finder window. The three tags are showing and allow you to access all files labelled with that tag. How convenient is that? You can control and decide what tags are showing in the Finder preferences. It's no doubt that Final Cut Pro can do a lot, but you do need to know how to use it. I can help you make the most of your time so that you can quickly master Final Cut Pro. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and press the bell.